Wrist height cable lateral raise. You're gonna set the cables at or slightly below your wrist height. And the reason we're doing that for this particular movement is because we wanna target more of what we call the lengthened portion of our medial delt. And that just means that it's gonna be harder towards the bottom right when you start the movement and then it should get slightly easier as your arm comes up. One trick that I like to use for any lateral raises when I'm using the cables is to actually attach the handles under the ball of the pulley. This is going to prevent prevent them from getting stuck as you come down to the bottom. Once you've adjusted the handles on the ball of the pulley, you're gonna cross the cables in front of you and step out so that you're feeling a little bit of tension. You're gonna lean forward slightly by hinging over at your hips and engaging your core throughout the entire movement. This is gonna make sure that we're creating as much stability as possible. As you raise up, think about pushing out rather than up. This is gonna be important to make sure that we're avoiding excessive shrugging and letting our traps take over versus what we want is really to target those medial delts. As you raise your arms up, try to actually bring them slightly in front of you in about a 30 degree angle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just don't want them straight out to the side. This is what we call working in the scapular plane, which exists just about 30 degrees forward versus being directly out to the side. And when we're performing lateral raises in this plane, it's just gonna feel more natural and it's gonna be smoother on your joints. Make sure that you're controlling your arms on the way down and we don't wanna lose tension at the bottom. We wanna keep that tension throughout the entire motion. And that's how you perform the wrist height cable lateral raise.